Hello everybody, welcome to the Italian Gamer Joe channel. Um, just some really quick housekeeping things that I for completely always forget to do every single time I stream. Um, let me just go ahead and fix some housekeeping really quick. I always forget to do this every single time. I always forget to update the show number and the, uh, the banner for what I'm playing tonight always forget to do it i always forget i don't i i'm like so out of it sometimes um anyway welcome on everybody to the italian gamer joe channel i hope you're all having a wonderful day evening afternoon whenever you are wherever you are however you happen to be watching this tonight tonight with me i have my nintendo switch pro controller I have my Nintendo Switch with me, and we are going to be playing Legend of Zelda, the um, the original Legend of Zelda for the NES. Um, I'm really excited to play this because this is going to be part one of the entirety of this uh, game, but <laughs> it was like, we're looking Nancy game. Um, the Legend of Zelda games are games I've been playing since I was um, a little kid. I went to my cousin's house. Um, and like whenever my parents would go to work, my cousin would babysit me and, um, or we just go there for fun. And, um, he would set me up with his Nintendo entertainment system. And I'd always ask him to play Legend of Zelda all the time. And I sucked at it and I was so bad at it, but every single time I always asked him to play it. And I and it was so much fun to me, and I love the music and the and the just messing around in it. Um, and it's a hard game. This is not an easy game. I've never beaten this game before, so I'm really really excited to jump in and to finally beat the Legend of Zelda, the original Legend of Zelda. I'm really excited to do this because this is going to be one of many many streams. Um, not just including this one, but I'm going to go through the entirety of the Legend of Zelda series. Um, Adventure of Link, Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, maybe the Game Boy Advance ones like Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, Wind Waker, Minish Cap. I might do the, well, Twilight Princess, obviously. Um, I might even consider doing like, um, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, um, Skyward Sword, if I can figure out a way, maybe even Link Between Worlds, Breath of the Wild, maybe Age of Calamity, we'll see how far we get. But I'm really, really excited to play these games. Um, we might even do the obscure Legend of Zelda disc CD games where you played as Zelda and it was like this janky Zelda game. I might even do that. Um, but I'm really excited because Zelda is one of my favorite Nintendo franchises of all time and being able to play them uh, on stream is going to be a blast for me because I'm a huge Zelda fan and it's something that I've loved playing over the years. Uh, absolutely loved. Um, it was like Zelda Nancy Drew. Zelda Nancy Drew. <laughs> uh, Guava says, I first played Ocarina of Time at a friend's house and was confused by Jabu Jabu Cave. Yeah, that was a hard quest. Or, I mean, temple. Guava says, I played Quest for Camelot on the Game Boy Color instead of this. Aww. <laughs> uh, welcome on in Intense. Intense redeemed first hydrate and stretch. Intense's Redemption of Hydrate is brought to you by Ice Mountain Water. Also, if you feel like stretching with me, if you feel like stretching with me, feel free to put your hands in the air, hands in the air, and then go like this, clasp your hands together, go like this and put your hands in the air, take a breath in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And then put your hands down slowly. And we are good. <laughs> Guava says, I am full of wings and ice cream. Well, then you need to do the, some stretches, Guava. Get that body limber and flexible and get right out there. <laughs> Intense is like, wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> right, Intense, from last time. <laughs> um... Anyway, we're going to jump into Zelda. 
I had to set this all up again because I haven't had my switch set up to my Elgato capture card in a while so I had to set this all up tonight but I'm excited this is going to be a guided playthrough I am using a walkthrough so if it seems like I'm looking at something I'm actually looking at the walkthrough for this game so um, to kind of like hasten things up a bit and kind of like have some continuity between streams this is kind of a guided playthrough and um, Especially for this specific Zelda game, I feel like I'm definitely going to need to walk through for this because this is very, very, um, this is very different than your later Zelda games. These are, this one especially is more non-linear. Um, there are stories of people that go to like Temple 6 when they're supposed to be at Temple 1 and then they get screwed over. So like I'm doing a more of a guided approach for this one. Um, but yeah, I'm excited and we're just going to jump in. So feel free to have some fun with me. Let's play some Zelda and let's jump in. Um, I don't know if blurps work right now. So if the blurps don't work, uh, I'm sorry in advance. I'll refund your channel points. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the game. And then here we are at the Legend of Zelda screen. Oh my gosh. This, this is like nostalgia. So much nostalgia for me. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my output real quick so I can do this. And then I'm going to see my chat real quick. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Okay. So now I can see my chat and I can see my screen. Okay. So long ago, can we like pause that for a second? I don't know if we can. Damn it. Well, anyway, I can't read it because it was too fast, but basically Ganon, you know, split the Triforce up and then we got to go save... Hyrule by collecting the Triforce pieces, and then I don't really know is Zelda in this game. <laughs> I'm just um, but, okay, I heard it. Did you hear it, Guava? Because I heard it on my end. Um, but anyway, um, let's get started. So we're gonna ha go ahead and select a new name, and we're gonna register it as. Um, is that only capitals? All right, well, it's ga, it's ga. Hopefully, let me put Joe. It's ga Joe. <laughs> Perfect. It's ga Joe. <laughs> and here we are. We are at the beginning of the game. We are ready. We are having so much fun right now. <laughs> this is my childhood all over again. Gosh, how many of you have, have any of you played this game before? This is how the game starts. It literally puts you right in the action in the beginning of the game. And if you try to go anywhere else other than the cave, you'll get attacked by enemies. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that cave. <laughs> Guava's like, steal a car. <laughs> we are going to go in the cave, though. So um, we have the classic old man, the classic. Um, this is an iconic video game. Um a video game scene we have the old man telling us it's dangerous to go alone take this and this is like the one of the most iconic video game scenes in video game history um this if you don't know this scene then i'm happy to see, i'm happy because now you do this is the iconic legend of zelda um it's too dangerous to go alone take this or it's dangerous to go alone take this so we're gonna go ahead and take the wooden sword Na, 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 na. So now that we have the wooden sword, um, we can go ahead and uh, use it by pressing the A button. Um, it'll shoot projectiles, which is pretty cool. All right. So according to the walkthrough that I have, it says that the game wants us to actually go find some goodies before we actually like go into the first temple. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the walkthrough and see what it says. Um, the game is telling us to go eight screens to the right and go get go shopping for some bombs for like 20 rupees um, Which is actually really convenient. I could probably get the bombs from the first temple too though, but Thon Hi dynamite. Welcome on in Thanos to Nancy when he gives her a go. I know right um, So we're gonna go ahead and do that um, So we got the sword. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get those bombs so basically, we're just going to go to the right eight screens. Thank you for giving Dynamite the shout out. How are you, Dynamite? We're playing Zelda. This is my first time playing it on stream. I've played this game before growing up, but I never beat it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going ahead and defeating these enemies. Having the sword projectile is really convenient. Guava says, maybe that old man is really hot. We don't know. Guava, do you want to draw it as your next project? 
You want to just draw the you want to just draw the old man. You know, I love the clock system. The clock in the game is like one of the only items I think I've ever seen in a future Zelda game where it causes enemies to just slow down in time or like not move at all period. Welcome on in Brenda the gamer and Ariel OTC. Can we get shout outs for Ariel OTC please? Um Brendan, I don't know if I don't remember if you're a streamer or not. Uh but how welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, we are just starting Zelda for the first time. This is the first stream of Legend of Zelda, um, the original, and, um, we're just making our way to the far right. Ariel, how are you? How was, um, how was your stream? I, I remember I was lurking in your stream. Was it last night? Ah, oh shoot. Damn it. Um, Ariel, did you see the Bayonetta news? I, I, oh shoot. Now I can't use projectiles anymore. Um, but basically there's a Bayonetta 3 trailer that just dropped from Nintendo. Um... And I'm so excited to play that soon. Um, Ariel says, thank you for the shout out. The third game. Yes. Yes. The third game. Um, Chloe says, I mean, I thought the King in Breath of the Wild was pretty hot. So it would just be, I know, right? Brenda says, I was a streamer at one point, but school keeps me too busy. No problem. Feel free to hang out here though and live vicariously. <laughs> um, okay. So we're going to try to collect some rupees and hopefully I don't die. I'm already about to die. Okay, we're gonna create a suspend point because I'm probably about to die. Oh my gosh, I died. All right, we're gonna go back in time. Oh my gosh, I put I made the suspend point. I made the suspend point right when I died. All right, let's do this again. Let's do this again. It's God Joe. <laughs> I know I'm so excited for you Bayonetta what? three. I know I saved the point at the wrong time. Totally the wrong time. All right, we still got the 18 rupees though, which is really convenient. So that's really good. And um, all we need is 20 to get the bombs. So we're gonna make our way to the shop. Link is like, I've had it. Link is like, where's the Starbucks? Where's the McDonald's? Where's my Big Mac? I can't take this anymore. Link is like, I want my spirit tracks. Link is like, I need, I need to get to my store so I can get my bombs so we can go to the first temple. Brendan says, I failed the test today, so that's fun. Oh, Brendan, I have a story to tell you. When I was in college, I took a biology class, and I got a 68% on my very first biology exam. I spoke to the professor, and I'm like, hi, professor. And he's like, hi, Joe, what do you want? And I'm like, you know my name? And he's like, this is a class of 10 students. Of course I know your name. And I'm like, <gasps> and he's like, giving me the weird face, and I'm like, well, anyway, I just was wondering how I can pass your class because I got a 68% on your test. And he was like, well, then, um, how long did it take you to study? And I'm like, it took me two hours the night before. And he was like, well, that's your problem. You can't study two hours the night before. You need to study a little bit, maybe the next, you need to study a little bit, three or four days before the exam, maybe do like an hour to two hours a day. And I was like, are you kidding me? I'm like... That's insane. Two hour to two hours a day to study for your exam. And he's like, do you want to pass the class? And I'm like, I do want to pass the class. And he's like, well, then listen to me. And I'm like, I got, I'm a computer science major. I have coding exercises. And, he, uh, and then he's like, he's like, you got to do it. Otherwise you're going to fail. And I'm like, all right, all right, I'll study. I'll study. So for the second class, for the second exam that happened, I, oh my gosh, I'm about to die again. For the second exam that happened, I um, I took it, and why do I have bombs? Anyway, I, I'm going to the shop to buy bombs, and here I am with four bombs. Um, I ended up getting an A on the second exam, and I was like, holy shit, I just got an A. Welcome on in, Des, and it was insane. I, I studied two hours a day. I started on Tuesday. I studied two hours. Wednesday, I studied two hours. Thursday, I studied two hours. Friday was the exam. I studied for like maybe half an hour on one Friday with some note cards, some flashcards I made, and I passed the class with an A, or let me rephrase that. I passed the class with an A minus, but I ended up getting a A's and B pluses on all future exams, all because I took the time to study. But let me tell you, um, college classes are hard and I, f I get why they, they make you do so much studying because, you know, the more you study, the easier it comes to you. But the other thing too is, is that for biology, it's regurgitation. A lot of it is just like memorize this. Um, but for other classes like math, it's much, much harder. It's much harder. Like I failed calculus twice. Um, 
but um, you know what though it was a learning experience and on um, my third try I did I passed the class really well with a B and then I passed calculus 2 on my first try I still can't believe I passed calculus 2 on my first try like that's something that's still but it's mind-boggling to me because I heard that calculus 2 is harder than calculus 1 um, and somehow I managed to pass it on the first try. All right, so we bought the bombs. We got the eight bombs. What does the walkthrough say next? Bubba says, I have a similar experience. I would fail an assignment, then work super hard to redo and get a lot better. Brendan says, I studied for two hours a day for five days for this one. I just studied the wrong stuff. Oh, no. But I got a 76. I need a 77 to pass. A 76? That is literally a C. How is that a failure? What happened to 70 being, what happened to 70% being the passing grade? Damn colleges or whatever you're in. Uh. All right, we're gonna get some heart containers and we're gonna do this heart container quest. So it says with bombs in hand, head back down one screen and left four screens. Place a bomb against the northern wall to reveal a secret cave. Inside the old man will offer you a second potion or a heart container. We're gonna grab the heart container. Okay, so basically we're gonna go this way. Um, you're on a harder grading scale because they hate you. Well, I'm sorry about that. You know what? Um, well, you know what? You can do it, believe in yourself, and just stay determined. In the words of Undertale of Toby Fox, just stay determined because there is nothing you can't do. You are capable of anything. Just, you know, just figure out maybe what the, don't, you know, like, just figure it out. You can do it. We believe in you. Um, you got this. Just do it. Des says, is this on the Nintendo, the, is this the Nintendo S, yes, this is the Nintendo SNES online. All right. So we unlocked a secret passageway and we have the old man here. It says, take any one you want. We're going to grab the heart container. So now we have the fourth heart container. Uh, or I guess the first heart card container, and uh, that's one of the first secrets of the game. Glova says, I once had to make a PowerPoint for math, and I thought it was supposed to be plain and to the point, and the teacher was like, I thought you'd make it pretty because you're an artist, and that's how I learned you can use art and other things. Yeah, I know, right? I'm glad, Glova, that you figured that out and that you were able to uh, get that because that's pretty awesome. Okay, um, now I'm going to continue this. Yeah, I for me, I realized, you know, in high school, you can, I feel like in high school, you can get away with it more, but in college, professors are way more hard on people. Um, so we're going to head up two screens, right two screens. All right, we're going to head up, right, so up two screens. Now we're going to go right two screens, and that is wrong. We need to go right. I feel like a GPS system. Now go right. Okay, Link, go right again. Then, Link, you- <laughs> Then, Link, you need to go up and then right. Go up, Link. Go up. Go right, Link. Go right. Alright, so we made it to the right. And there's just these two robots just chilling. Oh no, they followed us. They followed us. Why is there so many? You know, Nintendo was really, like... They were really trying to, like, fuck with us with this game. Like, how did people manage to do this? <laughs> Dust is like, recalculating. Make illegal U-turn now. <laughs> Make illegal U-turn now. Um, keep going straight. I know, right? Now keep going straight. Keep going straight. Guess what? Keep going straight. All right. Now it says, um, along the way, you will encounter moblins. These enemies have a bit more health than prior enemies, and it's best to just avoid them. There are two statues on the screen. If you touch the statue on and right, the enemy Armos will be awakened and will move rapidly across the screen. Quickly head down the staircase to find the secret moblin who will give you 10 rupees. Wait, we came here for 10 rupees? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Run, 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 run. We came here for 10 rupees? It's a secret to everybody. Shh. I can keep a secret, can you? <laughs> Got my mind. God, I can't even sing. Got my mind on my body, on my body, on my mind. Can we? <laughs> guava, no. No, Guava. I'm gonna. Link is gonna take that bike and he's gonna throw his sword. I can't even do the projectile. He's gonna use his wooden sword and he's just gonna keep attacking it like this over and over and over and over again and then he's gonna get a bomb and then he i need bombs right now but he's gonna get a bomb and he's gonna go poof, 
But the bomb will be like one of those, like, it won't even be a real bomb though. It'll be like a, one of those little things you buy at like 4th of July that you just throw on the ground and it goes <laughs> And then I'll stare at it and you'll stare at it and I'll be like, look over there. <laughs> All right. Adess says, I was once in a car with someone who had a pre-smartphone GPS device and literally told them, <laughs> make a legal U-turn <laughs> when they missed a turn. Are legal U-turns one of those things that are legal, but like you just get like a slap on the wrist for it? Brendan says, putting the wooden sword where exactly? <laughs> Bob was like, wink, wink. All right, where do we go next? Walk back left the screen and up a screen to find two more Armo statues. Touch the one on the right to find another secret rupee location. This one containing 30 rupees. Ooh. Well, why didn't you say so? Continue. Okay, we're going to go do that. So walk left a screen and then up a screen. So we're going to left a screen and then up a screen. And there's two more. Oh, but of course it's like surrounded by enemies. Yeah. Of course, they put the one with the mo more money surrounded by the other enemies. All right, well, we're going to have to make this quick. All right, run. Oh, my gosh, and I'm low on health. Oh, no, 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 no. No, go inside. Okay, good. <laughs> I bet they recorded your car movements so that they could snitch, you, snitch on you for the right price. Oh, my gosh. I bet they did. Are you sure it didn't say make a legal U-turn? <laughs> it's a secret to everybody. No, it's it's not a secret. What is this underground bank system going on here? Okay, now it says, um, continue heading up one screen and place a bomb against the northern wall. This will reveal yet another secret rupee location holding 10 rupees. I can't believe how many secret rupee locations this game has that I just never knew about growing up. Guava's like, GPS. I don't know. I don't know what the hell you did, man. I can't help you now. Des says it's possible, Brendan, but the fact that it told you to do it makes me immediately question. We need hearts, like right now. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. I'm about to freaking die in this game. Uh, it's a secret to everybody. Okay, like literally, it's. Is it really a secret? Is it? Is it a secret? Octor Octrox. I always call them Octorx. Are they Octorx or Octrox? I always say Octor Octorx. Is this game hard? This game is unforgiving, but because of the Nintendo Switch Online, it's more bearable. It's way more bearable. Um, Des, I'm going to give you a link to my walkthrough that I'm using that I found online. It's the official Legend of Zelda walkthrough. Um, I recommend that you use it, Des, if you plan to... Um, if you ever plan to play this game on the Nintendo Switch Online, I recommend you use this walkthrough. It's really convenient, and um, it'll, it'll, it'll help you. It'll help you a lot. Guava's Redemption of Hydrate is brought to you by Ice Mountain Water. Ah. If this were a Nancy Drew game, imagine how many second chances Nancy would have to deal with. Des is like, oh, thank you. Old games were so hard to play with without walkthroughs. I know. And that's why I'm playing with a walkthrough this time. Because I need it. Walk left a screen and place a bomb at the bottom right portion of the large center rock. This will reveal a secret cave where Link can acquire another heart container. All right, secret dude. We're leaving now. We're going to go get a heart. Oh, my gosh. Run, Link. Run, 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 run. Okay. So it's somewhere here. It's right here somewhere. Okay, we found it. We got another, we got another heart. I managed to get all these hearts, but I never, I always seem to be dying. All right, so according to this, it says we have to require the heart container. We haven't even beaten the first temple yet, and we have two hearts already. Wait, the game didn't refill our health. How savage. How savage. Welcome on to the EMC shell. <laughs> Thank you. And also, this game is savage. It didn't even refill my health. It's going to make me go on a goose chase with a white sword. And I now am going to have to deal with having one and a half hearts. Oh my gosh. One and a half is like the am is back in the day when Amazon let you do half star reviews. What even guarantee? Like, who even does half review? Like, <laughs> Amazon's like, rate the new fire tablet. I'm... <laughs> four and a half stars like what do, what even like wh why would someone take half a star off the good news you found a secret stash of 30 rupees at the bottom of the ocean the bad news unfortunately link couldn't hold his breath long enough to get back to the surface without drowning <laughs> retry because <laughs> this is nancy drew <laughs> all right link is apparently this cave isn't a secret all right so now it says from the cave head right a screen oh back to the gps 
back to the GPS, back to Google Maps. Head, oh my gosh, I'm about to die. Head right. What does it say now? Head up and head right. But will we go up this way? He nope, 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 nope. We're about to die. We're gonna die. We are so gonna die. Give me a heart, damn it. Okay. I'm so dead. I am so dead. No, I don't want money. I want hearts. No! Oh my gosh. I mean, I love money, but I need hearts. Oh my gosh. I'm so dead. This feels like Cuphead. <laughs> Just believe in yourself, Joe. Okay, so it says, go up, go right. Wait. From the cave, head right a screen, up a screen, and then right two screens. Okay, so go right once. Oh no, not these thing. Are you kidding me? The thing literally jumped right into me. All right, it got Joe. We're gonna do this again. All right, it got Joe. And you only gave me three hearts. Rip. I know. Okay, let's do this again. I, I think I'm going the right way, but I'm not sure. <laughs> well, but could you hear that blurp? Like, was it playing successfully on your end? Okay, so we have to go up from here. And then... I think we're going up from here? I think I lost. I'm lost. I'm officially lost. I think this is the right way. The GPS is like, make an illegal U-turn. <laughs> make an illegal U-turn. Make an illegal U-turn. The car just stopped by itself. They're like, wait, how is this possible? Ha, got a shield. <laughs> this is now you're playing authentically. I am playing authentically and I'm playing nervously. I'm playing very near. Oh, this is where we found the secret. I can keep a secret, can you? Got my mind on my body and my body on my mind. All right. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. All right, here we are. Okay, 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 okay. So it said from the cave, head right up and then right, right. So we we went have to so so we're good here. We have to go up, and then you have to go right, right. Turn right. Wait, did I read that right? Go right a head head right a screen, up a screen, then right two screens. So we need to go right one more time. Oh my gosh, these spider things. Good night, Brendan. Thanks so much for coming in. Des is like, don't tell your mother. Oh, you yeah yeah. Good. Thank you for coming in. The vod will be up soon. Um, Des is like, you've made a fatal error. <laughs> you've made a fatal error. <laughs> Imagine if the Nancy Drew game, though, like, during the second chance screen, it's like, I can keep a secret, can you? And then it just says yes, no. And then if you hit yes, the game just restarts. You press no, the game, like, uninstalls itself <laughs> from your computer. You have to, you, the game, Nancy Drew won't let you reinstall it. <laughs> like... Every time you try to install it, you just hear a voice thing that says, can't check that off yet. Alright, um, it says here, the enemy P-hats found here can only be defeated when they come to a stop. There is a secret passageway along the northern wall just to the right of the entrance. Refer to the next screenshot for the exact location. After heading up, entering the cave here to find another holding a hundred rupees. Okay, are you kidding me? Okay, so... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Stop flying! This is where it's somewhere over here. How the hell do you find something like that? How, I'm trying to think back to a day and age in the 90s when someone would just randomly be like edge scrolling their streams screens to find something like this. How the heck do you find something like this? <laughs> Glove was like, this was me walking around downtown Austin. Des is like, I would love to see a different video game series interpreted as Nancy Drew games. Oh my gosh. It's a secret. <laughs> I can keep a secret, can you? Oh wow, he paid me. Link is just going around spreading his seed across Hyrule. Link is just getting paid for, for, for all this. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> when guava guava was that you though guava you like you you found the big eyeball and you just you know <laughs> intense do i smell gas <laughs> that was one of the funniest nancy drew game moments of all time of all time all right back to the gps walk down walk left up the staircase all right so <laughs> walk down walk left Walk up the staircase. If you if you get attacked by a spider, do an illegal U-turn. What's in this cave? Show this to the old woman. <laughs> There's an old woman somewhere. <laughs> Where's the old woman? Hey, Candy Girl. How's it going? I hope you're having a good night. Retro. We are going retro tonight. This is a guided walkthrough. Okay, uh, after showing to the omen, Link will be able to purchase potions. Go down the steps and go left. Climb the steps here and then head left to screen. Enter the cave. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's do this. All right, so go down the steps and then head left to screen. GPS link. Google Maps walking. Go down. Now go left. Then it says, uh, climb the steps. Here and then head left. Link is like, holy shit! <laughs> and then head left. Oh my god, it's gonna fucking attack me. No! <laughs> this is more like map quest era, I know, right? Can you imagine that? Oh! Oh no! Come back! Oh my god. That fairy's never gonna come back for me. It's never gonna come back for me. Buy something, will ya? Okay, so it says here, go into the dark castle, hand Triforce over to Ganon. <laughs> Climb the steps, enter the cave to find a shop, purchase the blue candle. Okay. We purchased the blue candle. Well, we're doing a lot of stuff so far, and we haven't even beaten the first temple yet. After, get, no, like, go back to Google Maps voice. After getting the candle, walk down steps, walk down the steps, and head left two screens. Oh no, why did I do that? Map quest that you had to print out before you leave. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm about to die. All right. Walk down the steps and head left to head left two screens. <laughs> Do an illegal U-turn. Wait. Walk and head left two screens. Do an illegal U-turn. Oh, why is there no enemies on the screen? This is foreboding. This is very foreboding. Okay. Now it says climb the steps on this screen and you'll climb the steps on this screen and you'll encounter a blue lionel. This is the strongest enemy in the overworld, but fortunately there is only one of them. Be patient. Don't rush in as the lionel will shoot out a very damaging magical beam towards Link. Avoid the enemy if you can and rush over to the other cave. Now that you have the five heart containers, the old man will give you the white sword. This sword does twice the damage as the wooden sword. With the new sword in hand, exit the cave. <laughs> Glove was like, OMG, the Lionel, the hottest enemy in the Zelda games. I guess the blue candle became the, tab the tablet in Breath of the Wild with the blue data. Um, the map quest. What scent is the blue candle? They was, were Dark Ages, Candy Girl. They were Dark Ages. Alright, well, we're gonna go up now, and we're gonna get our asses fucking handed to us by this Lionel that's gonna just murder us. Oh, I'm so scared right now. Oh. Oh! Run, Link! Run! Run! <laughs> this is not good. This is scary. <laughs> Master using it, and you can have this. Alright, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> just imagine Link just walking in there, and you're expecting Link to just be, like, knighted, like, thank you, Master. Thank you. So thank you, old man. But instead, Link just walks in, like, he, Link comes out, comes inside, and he's just like, "Oh, it was so hot out there. I got my Starbucks iced caramel macchiato." And then the, the old man just looks at Link like, "Master, using this, and you can take it." And then Link is just like, "No, no, no, no! Thank you, thank you!" And then he just walks out. <laughs> That would be me. That would be that would be that would be me. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna leave now. We got the we got the sword. Um, I think that is the Legend of Zelda Twink. <laughs> so there's Twonk and now there's Twink. Twink's Awakening. Oh my God. All right, now we're gonna exit the cave. We're gonna we created the suspend point, right? No, we created it before we went against. Tell me those Lionels aren't hot. They are hot. They are hot. 
Okay, so now we're going back to the GPS. After acquiring the white sword, head back, head back down a screen. Oh my gosh, there's so... Now we have to... Oh my gosh, this Lionel's gonna kill me! It is kind of hot in game too. Like, look at that. Look at that hot Lionel. He even looks hot in the game. Like, look at that. It's so hot. Such hot pigs! Oh! <laughs> I was about to get killed. All right, all right. So then it says, head back down a screen, then left three screens. Oh my gosh. Left a screen, then... Oh my gosh, then left three screens? Yes. Head left. Oh my gosh, why is there falling rocks? Maybe the candle is Lionel scented. Oh my gosh. Head left. And then, that was definitely three screens. Down a screen, then right a screen. Oh my gosh, that hit me right in the face. <laughs> Down a screen. Then right a screen. Um, avoid the falling boulders along the way. There are five guarded green bushes on the screen. Pull out the candle and burn the bush at the bottom right to reveal a staircase. Walk down the steps to find 30 more rupees. Oh my gosh, how many secrets does this game have? This is just like Breath of the Wild, I swear. Wait, what happened? Why didn't it work? Why didn't it work? Did it, did it not work right? Wait. And now I can't use the candle anymore. Oh man, and I my, my save spot is so war- fuck, okay. Well, now we're back here again to the sexy Lionel. Guava, you got your dream. We're by the sexy Lionel. Wait, so does it- did you get the Master Sword already, or is it not the Master Sword? Joe, you have the fa favorite candle air freshener scent. I think this is the Master Sword. This is like the ba this is basically the Master Sword, I think. I could be wrong, but I'm like pretty sure that was the Master Sword. Alright, so now we're gonna hurry. I'm gonna do a quick save here so that I don't have to deal with the Lionel again. Sorry, Guava, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I should not have killed it. Okay. Now we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna really quickly equip the candle. But that was weird. There's a secret, apparently. Oh, no! You only get one try with the candle, and then you have to relight the candle again, which is really stupid. But, okay, we're gonna continue. It was in the air! Oh my gosh, we are so fucked. We are so fucked. Okay, apparently there's some, some rupees in there. I get all the hearts, but somehow... Oh. Damn it! And the game's only gonna load us up with three hearts. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, these rocks. <sighs> I hate pea hats too. Okay, run away from the pea hats. Pea hats sounds like a plants versus zombie enemy. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna save the game here. And then we're going to equip the fire thing. Is it gonna work? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I can keep a secret can. You got my mind on my body and my body on my mind. I don't know the lyrics, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Took cool for the summer. Okay. Um. Continue down two screens and once again use the blue candle to burn down the bush near the top right corner of the screen. Inside you'll find another secret ruby location. Okay, continue down two screens. Oh shit. Aw. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I'm so dead. Continue down two screens. Wait. But, wait. Oh, I died again. Fuck. And I saved at the wrong spot. No! What you're witnessing right now is peak Italian Gamer Joe. Peak Italian Gamer Joe. Why watch a streamer speedrun the game when you can watch Italian Gamer Joe just fail miserably? Okay. Continue down two screens and once again, use the blue candle. Oh, I see where it is now. I see where it is now. Guavo, you should take a picture of, your, of that puppy. The GPS is like, head down two screens, and do not flop. Oh my god, I'm about to die again. No, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. 
I so hooked it up. Okay. <sighs> this game is driving me up the wall. And now I can't get the money. I think I already got the money. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can I? This game is driving me up the wall. You know, I did this to get, I did this to, to you know, be stronger. But instead, I'm just dying miserably. Oh my gosh. This sucks. I wish you could quick save. Lo I know. Sparkly is like Zelda being frustrating. Never. Never. Can we get a shout out for Sparkly Kiss, please? Also, Sparkly, welcome on in. Hope you're having a good night. Oh, Sparkly, I had so much fun listening to your stream earlier. You were watching like a Price is Right video or something, and I was just so entertained. Entertained. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, get me in. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I can keep a secret, can you? <laughs> 30 rupees, dang. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What's next? I was losing... Oh, no. <laughs> and started falling apart. Well, how are you feeling now? Alright, it says walk to the left screen again and pull out a blue candle. Burn the fifth bush from the right and enter the cave to find another heart container. Wait, what? What? So it went well. I'm good now. Gu <laughs> Guava, you're hilarious, Guava. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So we have to go left, and I'm afraid I'm going to die from this. Okay. Okay. Come on. 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 Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go in. Go in. Boy, this is really expensive. It says here, uh, to find another full heart container. Okay. Wait, did I do this right? Oh, wait, I went to the wrong spot. Okay. So it says here, continue walking to the left screen. <laughs> Joe, is this how show? Yes, Guava. Continue walking to the left and use the candle to burn down the corner bush. Here you can purchase a magical shield for the cheaper price of 90 rupees. There is also bait for sale, but we will buy that. We will buy that in just a moment. Wait, there's a magical shield here? Oh, yeah, for 90 rupees. Okay. So let's go buy the shield for 90 rupees. Okay, we got the magic shield. We're going to go ahead and save. And then we're going to go <clears throat> and burn the bush again from the... Fi okay. So we're going to go bur bush burning. Okay, okay. So it's, it's the fifth bush. So one, two, three, four, five. Run! Okay. And then here's the... Take anyone you want. We're going to take the heart. And it's somehow we're still going to die. <laughs> We got. We haven't even been the first temple yet, and we're st we're already at this many hearts. This is insane. Um. Okay. You know, I wonder if Moses, when he saw the burning bush, if it was just Link, you know, coming by, burning a bush, finding the secret passageway, and then just running away. <laughs> Moses. Well, was like, from my experience in Texas so far, I would definitely get lost without help. Oh, I. Oh yeah. Continue walking to the left. Okay, we did that. Arrows and potion. Oh my gosh. We haven't even gotten to the first temple yet, and the game is making us get arrows. How dare this game? Okay. All right, let's do this again. Walk down a screen, and you'll find six green bushes near the center of the screen. Burn down the bush at the bottom left to find a secret rupee location that contains ten rupees. <laughs> Make an illegal U-turn. Okay, what did it say? Okay, what did it say? Walk down a screen. But we... Oh, okay. But this is assuming that we are actually listening to the GPS. Walk down a screen. Ooh! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, it's right here. Fuck. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, I had that... Alright. It's a secret. I can keep a secret, can you... Link is just out here, you know, doing his business, his dirty business. All right. 
Next, we want to head right three screen. Oh my gosh. Back to the GPS. Back to the GPS. Map quest. <laughs> Next, we want to head right three screens. Turn right. If you if you find the Octorx, you've gone too far. Turn right. Turn right. Um. Up and then right. Go up. Go right. Um, okay, let's see. Enter the cave and purchase the arrow for 80 rupees. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're about to die! Oh my gosh, we are about to die. Buy something, will ya? We will, we will, we'll buy the arrow. I've, I don't know how I've managed to survive... Well, I know I have finished this. It's it's this it's it's this whole like save and loading. Thank God for Nintendo doing these suspend points. Um, sparkly because it's like I actually knew my cardinal directions. It was north, south, lake, and west. East doesn't exist. Kitty girl says I played an old racing game that took place in Chicago, so I could tell you where all the landmarks are, even though I've never been there. Um, it, it's that's like me, like the architecture in Italy because of Assassin's Creed. Oh, that's so funny. Is it just me, or do some of the rocks look phallic? I could see that. I could see that. Um, a little, they do. They do. They kind of do. <laughs> um, let's see. On purpose. Um, from the cave, walk to the right a screen, then down a screen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're going to find another more money. Oh, man. I don't want this money. It's I, I keep dying. I don't want this money anymore. Okay. Um... Walk to right to the walk right a screen and then down a screen. Okay, okay. Walk right a walk right. Walk down. Find the money here. Oh my gosh, Link Curry. <gasps> that was the wrong one. Wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. There are a number. Uh, what? Uh, uh. No, that was the right one. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. I did the wrong one. Oh my gosh. Wait, why can't I use the candle? Okay. Come on, Link. Come on, Link. Come on, Link. Come on, Link. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was scary. That was scary. You what? <laughs> I can keep a secret can. <laughs> you. Okay. Um. Continue down one screen. Okay. And you'll find a similar setup of bushes. That we do. That we do. Um, this time you'll need to use the blue candle to burn the lower left of the two bushes. And you'll get a hundred rupees. Holy shit, we gotta hurry though. Come on, Link. Come on, Link. The frame rate's dropping, Link. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. I can keep a secret can. You. <laughs> Alright, intense redeemed hydrate. Intenta's Redemption of Hydrate is brought to you by Ice Mountain Water. Alright, Intense, you know, we're doing the whole stretch. If you want to join me for the stretch, you can, because I am Yoga Instructor Italian Gamer Joe. Feel free to take your hands and lock them together like this for me, and put them in the air, slowly. Now I want you to picture Lake Hyla in Legend of Zelda. If you don't know what Lake Hyla is, then Google it. But only, but still keep your hands in the air. <laughs> you must, you must keep your hands in the air and Google it with your nose like this. And then when you're done, then when you were done, continue joining us like usual. So keep your hands in the air and breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> Breathe in as you imagine Link catching a fish on Lake Hyla. And breathe out. <sighs> breathe in again. <sighs> and breathe out. Now, I want you to put your hands down slowly. 
but slow enough that it feels like you're transcending the universe and that you can feel the stars with your eyes closed and you're just going through wherever you're going through including your desk or your car or your whatever your is that you are sitting and you were just going and putting your hands down and going through space and time to the point that if nasa took a picture of the Na of their telescope they would see you going like this but keep your hands together keep your eyes closed Unlace your hands, and now we're back. <laughs> Intense is like, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Sparkly's like, convinced that Joe was ever in danger, he would signal to us with a Dasani water. <laughs> Not the Dasani water. Okay, alright, let's do this again. Let's go back to the game. I don't even remember what we're supposed to do. Oh, yeah, the 100 rupees. Okay, back to the GPS. Now travel left four screens. Oh my gosh, this jeep this this walkthrough this walkthrough is literally like the equivalent of Rick and Morty where Rick is like, Come on Morty, come on Morty. We just was one more adventure, Morty. Just one more adventure, Morty and Rick and then you know, and then Rick and Morty's just like, Oh come on, Rick. I, I don't I can't do this and then Rick is like, Come on, Morty, it won't take that long, Morty and then they show the transition that's like Four days later, and then, like, they see them teleporting, and then Morty's, like, covered in blood and, like, some alien goo, and he's just like, ah! Like, oh my god. Th this is what this walkthrough is. This this walkthrough is basically Morty. Go left four screens. Oh my god. Oh my god. This game is, like, trying to kill me. <laughs> this game is, like, <laughs> my therapist is gonna be like, so when did the anxiety start? Legend of Zelda, and then the therapist is gonna put my hand, his hand over my mouth, and be like, "No, no, you know what this is like. What is it like? Walk. This puts you back just one screen north of the starting screen. Use a bomb to blast open a secret wall to the north. Wait, really? This is the starting. Really? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's use a bomb." And then the bomb thing is right here. So many secrets. Like the arrow inputs in the code. I can keep a secret can. <laughs> you. <laughs> Alright, we got some money. Just imagine Link walking in and he's like, I can keep a secret can. You. And Link just grabs the rupee and all of a sudden he's like, <laughs> Pay up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave now. Link looks so happy when he leaves. He's just like, yep, 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 yep. Got the money, got the money. All right, um, walk left three screens and find a cave here. <laughs> you're gonna walk all these directions and your switch will open up and you're <laughs> Or like a $20 bill just like comes out of your switch like fan and you're like, I just found 20 bucks. <laughs> Walk left of these screens. <laughs> okay, that was one. And then I think actually no, was that was that two? Oh no no the heart! Damn it. Um enter the cave here, equip the letter. Okay. So I think this is the cave, but I could be wrong. Yeah, that's oh that's the old the old lady is so cute. Oh my gosh. This old lady is so cute. Look at her. And she's smiling. She's like, hello there, young lad. What can I do for you today? How are you? It's very dangerous to go alone, but I don't have anything to give you. Unless you maybe have a letter. From my, from my boyfriend. Who lives very far away and doesn't want to go here himself. Buy medicine before you go. Alright, it says here, um, she will now allow you to purchase potions. Both types of potion will restore Link's health completely. The life potion, the blue bottle, can be used once. The second potion, the red bottle, can be used twice. After one use, the second potion will turn into the life potion. Go ahead and snag some second potion and then leave the shop. So we're going to do the second potion, uh, the red bottle. Okay. 
Oh no, she disappeared. She's like, I'm done. I'm done. Bye. <laughs> Two hops this time. <laughs> Two hops this time. Mm. <laughs> reverse, reverse. <laughs> illegal U turn, illegal U turn. <laughs> okay. Um. Now we're gonna go find the blue ring. Okay. All right. This is gonna be a. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at the map and I'm just like, ugh. I'm, time to time to just freaking die in this game again. All right, all right, all right. Two hops this time. Mm, hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Slide to the left. <laughs> Slide to the right. Everybody, clap your hands. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> What does he say when everyone starts dancing? I forgot. What does he say? He's like... Adess, what does he say when, like, you just start dancing? I forgot the lyric. Um... No, no, no not crisscross. It's the one where you, he, like, where you start dancing. Oh my gosh, I have to look this up. I don't even know the name of the song. Oh yeah, cha-cha real smooth. That's it. <laughs> Des got it. Des got it. Cha cha real smooth. Do 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 turn around. Okay, yeah. Th th talk about memories. That was like the song to play at birthday parties. Like when I was a kid. Yeah, cha cha. <laughs> that was like the birthday song to play growing up. Like everyone had it at their party. And like I was so anxious growing up that whenever cha cha real smooth would come on, I'd be like. <laughs> just I would just turn around so fast like it'd be like cha cha real smooth and I'd be like and I would just stand awkwardly on the dance floor not knowing what to do <laughs> a lot of people still play that at weddings with the oh wow hello Joe it is late for me but I am stopping by real quickly to obtain something for my stream tomorrow no problem well I hope peppermint cutie thanks for coming in and thanks for giving peppermint cutie the shout out guava Kinder Girl's like, I make my dance students follow along in a plank position. Oh, that's cute. Guava says, Kinder Girl, how's the dance stuff going? Um, Guava says, I would awkwardly look at everyone else to see what they were doing. You know, now that if I ever hear that song again and they go cha cha real smooth, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> I'm just going to do my Italian dance from my streams. Oh, Jay Neasy's here with the stretch. Okay, we're going to do a real quick stretch, a real quick one this time. All right, everybody, I want you to take your hands and I want you to clasp them together like this, like this, like you're going to get ready to catch something. And then what I want you to do is I want you to put your hands on, on the top of your head like this and just stretch them out as much as you can because I'm yoga instructor, Italian gamer Joe, and just do that and just do this and just breathe in and breathe out ah, and breathe in. And breathe out. And just imagine yourself in your happy place. In your super duper happy place. Now put your hands down. You're not catching anymore. You're pitching. You're pitching. And then take your hands and put them back. Welcome on in, Jane Easy. Um, <laughs> that is a lie. I was last plague Nancy. I'll do makers uh, and crafting tomorrow. I changed it too early because it's part of the raid event. Oh, nice, Peppermint. Well, that's pretty cool, though. Which Nancy were you playing? Candy says we are a bit on a summer break. We a couple camps coming up. Well, that sounds like fun. I hope you have a good time. All right, we're about to get our butts kicked. Um, head left, then down, then left. Oh my gosh. Okay, head left a screen. <laughs> okay. Uh, head down a screen. Oh my gosh. Then head left on the lower path. <laughs> but don't die. Oh my gosh. How did I get hit from that? This game. This game is out to get me. Okay, let's see. Um, the wall to the north has a small devote. Place a... I'm burping. Captive curse. I wanted to play shadow at the water's edge, but it doesn't work on my computer. What? Oh, You were pressed up against that mob. I really were. I really were. Um, okay, now it says here. Uh... The wall to the north is a small devote. Place a bomb just to the right to reveal a secret cave and you'll find 30 more rupees. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. But watch out for the moblins. Okay, we're going to create a suspend point here because I'm scared. <laughs> the, literally, the frame rate is dropping. 
Um, B9 says, too many e-girls and ladies streaming Zelda now. Yes. Divot. Yeah, I know. I was just being stupid. <laughs> I was just being stupid. <laughs> Bless you. Um, okay, so we got more rupees. And now we're going to... Let's see. Um, walk up and write a screen and you'll see a series of... Okay, back to the GPS. Back to the map quest. Walk up. Oh my gosh. There's two of them... I got like I got group they they grouped they grouped up oh wait did I get the three groupies I don't think I did okay come on link hurry hurry go through the frame rate <laughs> okay I can keep a secret can you all right now we're gonna do this again and we're gonna hopefully not die this time all right oh my gosh they're oh oh I got lucky I got lucky there. Okay, Guavo, what's the would you rather? Um, it says here, walk up a screen, then left a screen to find a series of bushes. Oh, come on. They make me go to the hardest area. Okay. Wait, what? Keep a secret or not know a secret. Ooh, that's a tough one, Guava. I'd rather keep a secret. I'd rather keep a secret. Um, if you go to the Steam page for all the Nancys that allegedly work on Mac, they will say they can't work on OS. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's why, Peppermint Cutie. I'm sorry. You know what, Peppermint Cutie? You could probably do a virtual machine if you really wanted to. The performance may not be as good, but maybe you could do like a virtual machine where you log into a Windows computer and then just stream it from there. Um... Two can keep a secret if one of them is not Nancy Drew. <laughs> hmm. What about the her, the her interactive site? What do you mean, Guava? Um. I walked up a screen. I walked left a screen. I didn't. Okay. Oh my gosh. I walked up a screen and then I walked left a screen. This is like, this is the screen that repeats itself. This is like the the maze. Yeah, this is not, this walkthrough is not helping me. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Walk up and walk right a screen. Good night, Ariel. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out tonight. Um. It's been nice hanging out with you. Uh, can't wait to catch, tune into one of your streams again soon. Um, let's see. Uh, the game files from there, are they any different? Um, I don't know. Well, that's a really good question. Um, okay, let's see. So, walk up a screen. Did, I think I went the wrong way. I no, I think I'm just confusing myself now. Um Esco's like you can walk up my screen any day. Gladly, Esco. Gladly. How are you doing, Esco? Um This is the spot. This is the spot. I found it. I found it. I found it. And I'm about to die. Okay. I'm gonna create a different suspend point for this. Thanks for giving Esco the shout out. Esco, I have to watch your video still. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Um <laughs> okay, so it says here, uh, burn the bush that is at the bottom right, uh, in there you will find 10 more rupees. Oh my gosh, the game is making me go through all of this just for 10 fucking rupees. It's ridiculous. 10 rupees. This The game is making me go through all of this, this ordeal for, for 10 rupees. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just so... F this game is anxiety-inducing. This game is anxiety incarnate. Oh my gosh. Ugh! <laughs> this is exactly what work is like now. This game is driving me up the wall. 
Like even the even the frame even the frame rate is going down. Telling Gamer Joe, why are you doing this for 10 rupees? It's just 10 rupees. It's just 10 fucking rupees, Italian Gamer Joe. Why you gotta do this, Joe? Why do you gotta do this? Wha oh my god, I burned the wrong bush. I burned the wrong bush. Wait, Guava, you told me the would you rather. The would you rather was for the was for the keep a secret or not, right? I can keep a secret, can you? What was the would you rather? Would you rather play this or Cuphead? Was that is that the would you rather? Um, I'd rather play. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I think I would have to pick. I'd pick this only because I'm a Zelda fan, and for me, this is something I've been wanting to play forever, and like from the nostalgia. But Cuphead comes second place. I would totally play both. Why is that Italian gamer crying? <laughs> no mech. Ask the Italian gamer why he's crying. <laughs> Guava. Yes. You're right because I, could, I didn't hear. Italian gamer Joe. Why are you crying? <laughs> Finally, we can now get the... Wait. Okay. Oh my gosh. Run, 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 run. Okay. That was scary. Uh, Walk up the screen and then left the screen to find... Okay. We did that. Finally, we can get the blue ring. Walk to the right three screens and then up two screens. What? But we don't have 250 rupees. Finally, we can get the blue ring. Walk to the Are right. You crying? What's that? Oh my god. Are you that crying? Scared, Am I scared, crying? No, I'm not Oh my crying. god. That blurb scared the shit out of me. I'm okay to cry. Touch the top middle set you to and said you. Finally, get the blue ring. Walk up to the right. Walk to the right three screens. Um. Oh, fuck. Well, we had to go right this way anyway. Or no, we didn't have to go right that way. I, I fucked it up. Okay, right. So right one, right two. And then it said uh, up two screens. I think this is considered up then. Maybe. Oh, oh my gosh. I got lucky. You know, I wish the GPS would take me to something like this once in a while. You know, GPS, I wish you would do this for me once in a while. This goes like scam. Uh, and then up to... Okay, I definitely went the wrong way, so I have to go up. I have to go right one more time. Well, now I have full health. Um, okay. Wait. I didn't find the six statues, though. <laughs> like a scar, like a scar, a Starbucks. But I... I'm so confused because I. Okay, now I'm like OP. Now I'm like OP Link. Okay, I don't have the 250 rupees though, so I think I'm gonna skip that for now because I don't have the I don't have the 250 rupees. <laughs> the friends we made along the way. All right, so we're gonna start with level one, the eagle, and this is the first temple in the game. So I know exactly where this is. So. I'm just gonna make my way to it. Oh my fucking gosh. Alright. So we're gonna make our way to the first temple. Yes, okay, now I'm OP. Now I'm OP Link. Alright, okay, we're, we're, we're going, we're going. We're, we're taking our time, but we're going. These Octor- or no, what are these things again? I forgot. Original player, right? Okay, I think I have to go this way and then go this way. Yes, I found it. Okay. And then you have these little rotating things from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But I guess they originated here. Oh my gosh. Oh! Okay, we did it. We did it. We made it. We made it. Maybe I will try to follow along with you, Joe. You can if you want. I mean, I would use the walkthrough, though. So this is the first temple. And just as a quick disclaimer, you did not have to do any of the things I just did. The last hour that I've been streaming, you do not have to do any of that. 
you can start the game and you can go directly to the first temple and start from there if you want. All that extra work I did was just because I wanted to find some of the secrets in the game. So that was pretty much what I did, but now we're just gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna use the walkthrough for this dungeon, because I know this dungeon like the back of my like the back of my hands. Um oh my gosh, it's so much easier with the Master Sword. These skeletons die in two hits or three hits normally, I think. Not one. We are definitely overpowered right now. <laughs> like when you grind your Pokemon to level uh twenty before the Yeah, right. And you just one shot everything. Okay, these bats are easier to kill when you can projectile them. Um, as I'm, like, attempting, and then you have the key. Okay. So now we're going to make our way to this locked door. You know, it's so funny, because, like, indie games look like this today. And, like, you know, this if this, if this game were to come out as an indie game today... I feel like people would love this and be like, oh my gosh, this is an amazing roguelike. Nintendo is amazing. It's amazing to me that, like, this kind of, like, feels like the original roguelike. Okay. So, let's see. More bats. I don't know if we have to kill them to get anything, but I'm just going to kill them anyway, just in case. Okay, no, it's just to open the door. Look at this DOS game. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I think we missed something, though. I think I missed getting the compass. Unless the compass is here. The compass could be here. No, the map is here. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the map. Map, 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 map. Or no, is it backpack, backpack? No, yeah, it's backpack, backpack. <laughs> No, for Jordan the Explorer, it's I'm the map. 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 Okay. We're going to go ahead and push this block to open it. And now there's a little secret in here. Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. Oh no, now the old man. I can keep a secret, can you? All right. So let's continue down this temple. Defeat more enemies. Enemas. Alright, let's let's open this door. Oh, wait, no, we don't want to open the door yet, though, because we want to get the special item. It's like in Mario Party when, like, the narrator goes, Item! <laughs> you got an item! Item! Blue Phoenix, I haven't played this Zelda game. Blue Phoenix, you, you haven't played it, really? This is the first Zelda that ever came out, Blue Phoenix. It is iconic. This is iconic. And by the way, you can play it on the Nintendo Switch online. I feel like we don't see too many indies with this specific amount of pixels. Nowadays, people would hand draw this on Flash, like Binding, Binding of Isaac. I, that's true. That's very true. Okay, so now we're going to get the bow for the bow and arrow, and it's right here. I like the creativity of, like, making it look like it's like like it's a platformer. Um, this is really creative, and this is how we get the bow. This is how we get the bow and arrow. So now we're going to make our way to the first boss, and we're going to defeat the first boss. Um, but we're not going to use our bow and arrow at all. We're going to actually use some bombs to defeat it. Um, I think bomb, or maybe we could try using the Master Sword. I don't know how many Master Sword hits it takes. But we're gonna get there soon. Um, okay, let's fly through it. Let's go through the door. Let's go through the second door. Well, it says five. Five, it takes five hits. Um, place your bets. Oh my gosh, Guava, that's so funny. Okay, I don't know. Oh, you know, we have to kill these Moblins, because then we'll get an item for it think yeah we got a bot we got a boomerang so now that you get the bow in this temple we, get, we also got the boomerang you also get the boomerang really early on in this game okay and we got the hands that are chasing us okay run 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 okay so let's see how many licks it takes to get to the center of the tootsie pop let us see how many licks it takes to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop. 
I can land them. What the hell? Two. It took three hits. It took three. <laughs> All right, also, sorry, Guava. I didn't mean to do it so quickly. We got more hearts. And here is the first Triforce piece. We got the first Triforce piece. Okay, so I'm gonna see if there's anything I'm missing. I don't think there's anything. I don't think I'm missing anything. Um. Okay, I think I got everything. Yeah, I pretty much got all the secrets from this dungeon. I think. So the room. This first boss is called Aquamentis. Aquamentis attacks by shooting beams. Um, his head is the only vulnerability. So we can grab the heart container and then leave. Okay, sweet. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. Yay! <laughs> we are so used to the bosses of the newer games. We really are. Well, we did it. We, we beat the first temple, and that was... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Quaba and Blue Phoenix. Um, the Candy Girl's Redemption of Hydrate is brought to you by Ice Mountain Water. Ah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I am going to take a bathroom break because I've been spending a lot of time playing and I need a bathroom break. So I'm going to cut to my Be Right Back screen where you can see me um, and past clips of the Italian Gamer Joe channel. Enjoy those past clips while I run to the bathroom. So stay tuned. I'll be back soon. Let me just finish this, and when I do, I will give you a proper introduction. Um, is it this? And then Aquarius. And then Pisces. I got it! Yay! Oh my gosh. I need to, like, clip all these times that I solve Nancy Drew puzzles so I could, like, make this the second, like, channel trailer. Joe solves Nancy Drew puzzle, like, compilation. I'm smart, but it's actually, like, a candy girl in Element. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and zoom the camera in for a second. Okay. Let me, like, let's, like, like here's how the scene starts. Ready? Welcome to Fixer Upper with Italian Gamer Joe. I'm Italian Gamer Joe, and I'm here to get ready to serve you some awesome homes that we are going to remodel. I am what I call the best in the business because I just serve the only the best kind of animal homes that there are on the market. I am just the best, the very best that no one ever was. So let's go in and let's have some fun and let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. No, you're not gonna fucking score it. Not not my balls. Not my balls. Home to look something like this. <laughs> Just watch. <gasps> oh my god, I was joking, but she literally brought the Annabelle doll with her. I wanna be like, psst, Lottie. Can we just can we just refuse service to this client? That doll looks scary as fuck. I've seen the conjuring. I've seen the conjuring Lottie! We can't do this! <laughs> that doll is gonna fucking follow us! <laughs> Lottie's like Lottie just gives me the look and she's just like Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. Lottie turns around, looks at me. Alright, money is money. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Okay, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do. We're gonna put Snow Ink on the middle of the desert by yourself, like you know, <laughs> far away, far away from the resort. We're just gonna put her right here, just right here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Let me go back to this room and do that. Why did it? Wait, did you all see that? Why did it turn like that? Why did it turn like that? Did you all see that? Why can't I repeat that? Did you all see that? It, it only... It doesn't let me turn... We're solving a puzzle. 
Welcome back everybody to the Italian Gamer Joe channel. Tonight we are playing Legend of Zelda, the original Legend of Zelda for the NES Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, for the first half of tonight we went through basically uh, just gathering a bunch of items. <laughs> Guava. Just tune into the VODs to go find it and maybe you'll see it. Um, but yeah, we're now going to go to the second temple and see how far we get. So let's jump back in. Okay, so let's see. The second level is the moon. Candy Girl's like, oh, he self like a boss. Oh yeah, I did. Fuck yeah, I did. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, so it says here, the route to the second dungeon is fairly straightforward, and there is nothing additional to do in the overworld. If you have to, ref if you haven't, or from the start. Okay, now we're going back to the GPS. We are going back to the GPS. <laughs> Link is like, I'm giving myself my map quest. I need 250 rupees though, and I'm getting closer. We're gonna get the we're gonna get the blue ring after we get the 200 rupees. Um, all right. So let's see. We're gonna go back to where we started. I feel so OP right now. Um. <laughs> Glove was marketing me. Glove was like, Shh, I'm marketing. <laughs> Okay, so I believe this is the second screen, but let me check real quick. No, I was wrong, actually. Okay, so this is technically the second screen, I think. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, so this is the... No, it's not this one either. This is the starting screen. Okay, so it says, from the start screen, walk right four screens. Walk right. <laughs> Do an illegal U-turn. <laughs> okay, that was one. This is two. Do another illegal U-turn. <laughs> Three. Okay, that was four. Uh, up two screens, right two screens. Go up. Go up again. Without getting killed. Head right two screens. Fuck. Ha ha! And then it says, um. Up a screen, left a screen. Oh my gosh. Alright, up a screen. Left a screen. Uh, and then, um, and up a screen, the pathway is number, okay, um, imagine you're driving and you're reaching your sanction and the GPS is like, survive for five minutes, just five minutes is all you need. You would think that there'd be like a secret maybe somewhere there, but nope. All right, and here's the next dungeon, the moon. This dungeon I'm not too familiar with, so this one I might. This one I'm gonna. It might be more of a struggle for me, um, because like I said, I'm just I'm just not familiar with this dungeon. So um, we're gonna try our best here, um, and just see how far we get with this one. Hopefully, hopefully we can do. Hopefully we can do it. I'm confident. Joe, you'd like Tunic after playing Zelda. You think I, I should I should try Tunic. I really should try Tunic. It's on Game Pass. Okay, so here's the first... Oh, there, there's snakes. Haha. -ha. I stopped time because of you. Got the key. Yes. Alright. <laughs> Guava, you said yes at the perfect time because of the snakes. Okay, we got the compass. The compass, though, only tells you where the boss is. It doesn't tell you where, like, any items are. 
so... Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Really? <sighs> oh, oh, there was a key in there. There was a key in there, and I missed it. Gosh, whenever that song, that sound would play in The Sims, I'd like freak out. I'd be like, what just happened? Why is the game doing that? Um, okay, we're getting closer to the number we need for the for the ring, for the for the blue ring. Okay, so now we're gonna make our way closer into the temple. Okay, I think we need to go this way next for the map. Holy shit, I'm the map, 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 I'm the map. Sweet. Okay, let's go in here. What's in here? The map! <laughs> this temple is a crescent moon shape. Oh. Now I get it. The temples are named after their shapes. How clever. <laughs> I'm the map! <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on. Come on, Snick. We got the key. Uh, sweet. Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is scary. Oh my gosh. Fairy, come back! The fairy didn't fill my health completely. That was weird. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got the magical boomerang. Now let's get the hell out of here. You would never realize just from playing, although I have terrible spatial... Oh my gosh. That's funny. Okay, so got the got the magical boomerang. <laughs> butt play. <laughs> you would never realize from play, from butt playing how butt. Although I have terrible spatial buttness. <laughs> <laughs> with the Felicia Day Fairy. <laughs> no, I haven't. I have not. Alright, so we got the magical boomerang now instead of the regular boomerang. Uh, so now we're just going to slowly make our way up to the boss. And I think that's all the items we can get from this temple. So I think we're okay. Um, I think this is just a fireball room. Oh gosh. Get some bombs. Okay. Alright, come on. Oh, oh. We didn't get anything. Was there anything in this room? Uh. Okay, well, apparently you could put a bomb here. And, like, there's actually a secret. Um. And some droplets. So you can actually break through walls in this dungeon. But I don't know, like, I don't, but I don't think it's, I think it's conditional based on which dungeon you're in. Um, sweet. Okay, got some money. <laughs> Looks hot now. Oh my gosh, Guava. Okay, more snacks. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then, uh... So now, I think if we go this way, we'll find something else. Yeah, the secret here. <sighs> Dodongo dislikes smoke. Does anyone remember Dodongo is from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? Dodongo came from this game, apparently. Uh, so that's where Dodongo came from. I wonder if I can use the boomerang to stop them in their tracks here. I can. But they can they still attack me? Probably can. Whoa, why did my boomerang do that? Sweet. Okay, I got three hearts. Um, I'm really scared because I think the next room is the boss. Uh, no, it's... Yeah, the next room is the boss. So, we're gonna have to be really careful here. I'm I'm creating a save point for this, and I'm scared. Okay. He dislikes smoke, so I'm gonna get my bombs ready. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, it's a cute little rhino! Oh my gosh, he ate it! 
Okay, that was really cute and really... This this boss is actually kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, or a Triceratops. It only took two bombs. It only took two bombs to kill it. Okay, I, I think I was really scared, but that was actually pretty adorable. That was pretty adorable for a boss. And we did it! <laughs> Okay, that was actually, like, really, really adorable for a Legend of Zelda boss. I was not expecting that boss to be so adorable. And we did it! We're getting closer to the number of rupees we need for that ring. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks, Guava. Alright, so now that we got all that done... Yeah, um... Let's do the next one, which is going to be the Manji. The Manji is such an interesting name for a temple. Um, okay, so it says here, The third dungeon is located not far from the starting screen. Just head up a screen, left for screen. Okay, okay, so we're going to head back towards the starting screen. It's going to be a pain to get back there, but we can do this. The GPS is like, Just go back to where you started. The GPS just keeps saying, go back to where you started. For the route to start, go back to where you started. Now. Go now. <laughs> I wish that the map would have, like, illustrations instead of just being, like, a dark screen like that. But, I mean, I guess, you know, considering it's time, the NES day and age, I could see why they didn't do that. Oh. Okay. We're almost there. Oh! I get the heart just when I... Okay. Long story short, I spent 45 minutes trying to get something through store pickup, and then that lo and that long of nothing working as they should, I was going to give up frustratedly. They wouldn't even tell me if the item was in store. Then it turns out their store pickup could take 24 hours. Like, what? Our buy online pickup in store takes max an hour during business hours. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Peppermint cutie. It sounds like a miscommunication between their between the system and the employees. It sounds like a it sounds like a miscommunication somewhere. That's not that sucks. I'm sorry. Um Okay, so we're getting closer. All right, so here's the starting screen. Um head up a screen, <laughs> head left. Keep heading left. Alright, one, two, three. Ah! I almost got hit. I, I, I got hit. Four, and then I think we have to go down a screen actually. Uh, down a screen, right a screen. Down a screen, right a screen. And here we are at the Manji. I wonder if this is a food temple. Oh my gosh! Is this a food theme temple? Because if it is, I want the food. I want all the food. All right, so this is the Manji temple. Um, let's see. So in the Manji temple, there is a raft that we can get here. Um... And the raft is the next secret item we can get in the game. <laughs> Abraka Hamburger. I'm sorry, Peppermint Cutie. Tomorrow by 9 p.m. <sighs> is there any other locations that have it? Alright, well, we're going to explore this temple. Good night, Herman Cutie. Thank you so much for coming in. And yeah, sorry again about what happened with your with the situation. I hope it res gets resolved. Okay, so we're making our way, making our way downtown, walking fast. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. No, 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 no. Yeah, good luck with the order, Peppermint Cutie. I'm sorry you went through all that. I hope it gets resolved. All right, we got ourselves a key. 
Um, holy crap, what are those things? Oh my gosh. And they take off a giant chunk of health. We got some bombs for it at least. <laughs> Glove is like, face is past and I'm homebound. Na 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 na. I guess I'll just have to go to the store tomorrow and see if they have it. At least I'll have an excuse to get my favorite wings for lunch. Yeah, exactly. Nothing like some nice, delicious wings, too. Good night, Peppermint Cutie. Thank you so much again for coming in. Hope it all gets resolved. Alright. I say I picked the wrong time to save the game. Okay. So we got the compass, and we got the key, like Yavi. Um, all right. Oh my gosh, there's more of them, and we have to defeat all of them. Just when you, th what the hell are these? These temples are getting more and more unreasonable. Like, what the hell is this? Like, what, what even is that? What, what are even are you? <laughs> are those garage? Ba I don't know. Ugh. Is there like do bombs work against these things? Okay, the bombs actually do work against them. That's actually really good to know. Well, I mean, the bombs actually... Oh, shoot. The bombs are actually really helping. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. <laughs> Perkley's like, not me nodding off and mentioning the wings give me a second wind. I love hot wings. Like, if I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, I like the garlic and the barbecue sauce ones. But I, I, I'm not a big fan of spicy. So for me... Oh my gosh, there's so many... Um, I tend to prefer the, like, the not as spicy ones. But what kind of hot wings do you all like? Peppermint Cutie, I don't know if you're still here, but what are your favorite hot wings? Parmesan garlic are so good. Freaking love Parmesan garlic. So good. So good. Okay, so we're just going to leave here because that's going to be scary. The mango habanero. Ooh, that sounds pretty good too, actually. It sounds delish. Okay, so we're going to go this way. What the hell are those things? <laughs> like, it's scary. Okay. Um, flats or drums? Uh, flats or butts? The garlic sriracha? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I like... Okay. I like it all. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, okay. We got a key. Um, okay, so we're going to go up. I have the walkthrough in front of me just in case, but um, so far I haven't really needed it too much. Wait, oh, okay, that's how you open it. There you go. Did you get the sword from the old man on top of the waterfall? I did. I did get the old sword. <laughs> Flats for chat. <laughs> okay, so we have to defeat all the bats. At least the game is being nice to us and giving us, like, the bats instead of those horrible knights that we had to fight off. Like, that was a pain in the butt. Yeah, drumsticks are easier to dip into ranch. But yeah, no, I really do like the Parmesan garlic. The Parmesan garlic is delicious, in my opinion. Like, I could do Parmesan garlic for days. And then have a stomach ache after. But worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> blue cheese. Ooh, I like. I do like blue cheese, and I like ranch, too. Those are both delicious. Okay, this map symbol looks very suggestive and very weird. <laughs> very weirdly suggestive map symbol. Oh, come on. We have to defeat more of these things. This is not... This is so freaking frustrating. Okay. 
Oh, missed. How many is it gonna take to kill it? Oh my gosh. How much? Oh my gosh. Okay, that was frustrating. Carrot sticks greater than celery sticks. I like the carrot. I like them both, but I I, I, I like them both. Um, I'm gonna use my health potion because I'm scared. I'm scared. Like how the game freezes. And then we still got a regular health potion after that. So that's convenient at least. Thick. <laughs> Yikes, this is scary. I know, right? And then apparently, I don't know how this next boss battle is going to go, so we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh. Why is the game giving us... Why is the game giving us these stupid little, like, orbs? Like, what do these orbs even do? Oh, I hear the boss. I hear the boss in the next room. And they always make that weird, like, gasping sound. Or not gasping, like a breathing sound. Alright, here's the next boss. What the fuck even is this thing? Yeah. What even are you? And why is it moving fast? Oh my gosh! What are you? Oh. Okay, I died. And then... And then they... <laughs> that was stupid. I, I died. Oh, come on. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. Joe, this enemy is the is in most Zelda games. Is it really? I don't... Which one is it? Guava with the bicycle. I'm going to throw that bike, Guava. I'm going to throw it. Mandahanda. Mandahanda? Is it really Mandahanda? <laughs> Mandahanda. Link looks, I like how Link's very expressionless, like, he's like, nope, nope, nope. Just, just, just expressionless. Okay, so what's the next temple? What is the next temple we have to do in this game? So, let's see. Mandahanda is a much more difficult boss. Um, I'm looking that up, Guava. Manda Handa. I'm looking that up to see, like, if it's been in other Zelda games. Just out of curiosity. Um, um, it's not... I don't think it has been. Hyrule Warriors? Oh, okay. I mean, are we counting Hyrule Warriors as an official Zelda title? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, okay, so the next temple we have to go to is the snake. Oh, that's interesting, because we had to fight a bunch of snakes. Oh my gosh. The way to get to the temple that involves the snakes is going to be a, quite the mission. How much rupees do we have? We have... Okay, so we're really, really close to... Um, we're really, really close to um, the number of rupees we need for the ring. So I might do a side quest and get that ring back at the gathering. Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons, and Four Swords. You know, I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to play Four Swords Adventures on my on, to finish this, to do the series. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay. So, let's see. Um, so, the next temple we're going to have to get to is going to be the, the the snake, which is level temple four. And then after that, we'll have the lizard, the dragon, the demon, the lion, and then Death Mountain. How are we going to do spirit tracks and the like? Um, I was thinking of doing it on my Wii U and streaming from my Wii U. Um, that's because you can you can play the game on the Wii U still, and I own it for Wii U. The, the only other way I'm, I would do it is... The only other way I would do it is... Uh... Or just waiting for it to come out. Because I don't have a Nintendo 3DS capture card. So I don't know how else I would be able to do it. 
Are there Nintendo 3DS capture cards? Because I don't even know. Um. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna make a save file though, right here. Save file three, and might as well do save file two as well. Why not? Why not? Okay, so we're gonna go back to the game selection. But yeah, so um, that was that was Zelda Legend of Zelda. That was part one. Um, by the way, if you have Nintendo Switch Online, you can also do the special edition version of the game, which gives you the white sword automatically, the magic shield, the blue ring, and the power bracelet. So if you want to skip everything that I did for the first hour of the stream, you could play this version of the game and immediately go to the first temple. So if you want to play this game with me and follow along with me and skip everything I did for the first hour, you can do this version and then you'll have everything you need from the start. So um, I highly recommend doing this if you want to avoid the frustration that I had to go through. <laughs> um, I, uh, I think that you, you might, it might actually help you. Um, <laughs> Des is like, oh no, I just finished all the side content. But you know though, Des, here's the bright side to, Des, here's the bright side to doing all the side content though you get better at the game. So even so 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 you don't look at it as a bad thing. Look at it as you being better at the game now. Also, I can't believe this game came out in 1987. Like holy shit. 1987. That's insane. Um but yeah. So um I wonder what the playtime means. Does that mean I've been playing this game for an hour and 41 minutes? It's crazy. This game is old. It is older than me too. I'm 28. So like I was born in I was born in, I was I'm a 90s kid. So like this game came out before me. <laughs> um so once we finish Legend of Zelda, we're going to play uh the next one, which is Legend of Zelda Adventure of Link. And this one also has two versions. Uh it has the regular version and it has the um this one has your attack, magic, and life all maxed out at level 8. It says, you won't start with any items, but you'll be able to use all the magic to plow through enemies with souped up Link. That's actually pretty amazing. Maybe I'll do this version of the game when I stream it, because that way I don't have to worry about, like, grinding. Maybe, maybe I'll do this version of the game... Because I've played the original, and the original's a pain in the butt. So I, I might I might do this the, the special edition version uh, to humor Nintendo. I was like, grinding! Because grinding in this game is not good. Grinding in this, this game is not good. Kenny Girl's like, no, I'm older than the game. <laughs> it's okay, Candy Girl, it's okay. Um, but yeah, um, those are... And Meatra's raiding me with a, po with a party of five. Okay, let's do the raid. Let's do the raid. Welcome on in, Mitra, and your party of five, and your community. I hope you're all having a wonderful, <laughs> hope you're a wonderful night, Mitra. How are you? You were last playing Nancy Drew: Trail of the Twister. Nice, nice. I hope that you're enjoying it so far. Um, Meet for those who don't know, Mitra is a community moderator here in my Twitch channel, but she also is a streamer herself, and she is marathoning through all the Nancy Drew games. So if you like Nancy Drew games and you want to hang out with someone that is ex that is equally, if not more fun than a Town Gamer Joe, then go hang out with Mitra because she is fantastic she's awesome she's funny and um she's an amazing sea of thieves partner <laughs> so please go check out mitra um mitra how how are you mitra um i hope you're having a good night how was Troll the twister did you uh did you um romance daddy scott yet how's that going how's that going mitra 
Hope that's hope it's going well. Mira's like, I'm great. It's awesome, Mira. Happy to hear it. Mira, tonight we were playing Legend of Zelda uh, on the NES. We were playing the original Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo Entertainment System. But if you have a Nintendo Switch, uh, you can and you have Nintendo Switch Online, which is the which is included in both the cheaper version and in the uh, regular version of Nintendo Switch Online. You can access this game. There's two versions. There's the regular version of the Super Nintendo, uh, I mean, of the original Nintendo version. And there's a special edition, which gives you, like, an OP version of Link that can go and just, like, tap his little tiny sword on a boss and just kill it instantly. Um, so, yeah, there's... Um, uh, there's two versions, and we're playing the we're playing the like the original version. So we actually spent like an hour of the stream gathering all the e equipment we need to become OP. <laughs> so that's been fun. It's been a good time. Um, so here at the Italian Gamer Joe channel, I play Nancy Drew games exclusively. Um, I play a lot of Nancy Drew. So if, if you're new here and you're in my channel for the first time. I do play a lot of Nancy Drew games, but um, I recently finished all of them. And uh, on Monday nights, I will be doing the Nancy Drew dossier games, which are the hidden object games. And on Wednesday nights here at the Italian Gamer Joe channel, I will be marathoning the Legend of Zelda games. So if you are a Legend of Zelda fan, feel free to come in and hang out with me. I will be starting with the original Legend of Zelda and powering my way through all of them up to modern day today. Um, Zelda games and if they're if I can't like play it somehow then I will probably try to figure out a way to play it or I'll skip it until it becomes available um, or I'll do like a YouTube series where I'll have some walkthroughs available on the YouTube channel separate from the streaming so that way you can get exclusive Italian Gamer Joe content that's um, on the channel instead but anyway um, Mira thank you so much for coming in tonight and thank you for bringing your community over here. Um, I'm, I'm unfortunately I'm sad to say that I'm actually ending stream for tonight. Um, I still have time to chat though, so um, I I do have some time to chat. Um, I I'm a huge Nancy Drew game fan though. I've played all the Nancy Drew games. Uh, I've been playing them since I was in um, third grade. My favorite Nancy Drew games are Deadly Device, Curse of Blackmore Manor. Um, hmm. I do like Treasure in a Royal Tower, but it's not my favorite. I'd have to say, of the classic games, I'd have to say Secret of Shadow Ranch is a pretty good one. I really, really like Secret of Shadow Ranch a lot. Um, Mad Pirate Kid, welcome on in. Hope you're having a good night. I love those emotes, they're so cute. Um,. But yeah, so um, I just want to say thank you, everyone. Let me go back to my regular chatting screen. Um, Mira, thank you so much again for the raid. Um, Guava's Redemption of Hydrate is brought to you by... This is a different brand of water that I got from my fridge. By Essentia Water. I Normally I drink Ice Mountain Water, but I just grabbed what was, what was close to me. <laughs> It tastes, we, you know, you would think water all tastes the same, but between Essentia and Ice Mountain, they taste different. Like, how does water taste different? I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm going to look for someone to, to raid tonight. And the person that I believe I will be raiding tonight is someone that I really do enjoy hanging out with. Um, I'm just double checking to see if they are like not ending their stream or anything and it doesn't look like they are so I think I'm going to be raiding them yeah I, I think I'm just gonna raid them for tonight um, so the person we'll be raiding tonight is Ella space um, formerly known as Ella element um, Ella space is a Nancy Drew streamer but she also streams dead by daylight and a bunch of other games um, she's really cool to hang out with and uh, I like her content because um, really nice person, really awesome person to hang out with. I did a collaboration with her and Tina Balducci once, and that was a lot of fun. So we're going to go hang out with Ella Space. She's currently playing Fall Guys, so something more fun and more chill. Ella also does like a lot of community stuff, and she's really fun to talk to. And 
Uh, her streams get really chill and deep, so we're going to go hang out with her. But once again, I just want to say thank you, everyone that came in tonight to hang out with me. Um, tune in very soon for the next Nancy Drew and Zelda streams uh, next week. Um, if I have more time to stream, I might stream, but I probably, probably most likely I will be streaming on uh, next Monday. But I hope you all have a great weekend um, and a great rest of your weeks. Um, if you miss anything from tonight, you can feel free to check out my VODs on the YouTube or here on Twitch for 60 days. Um, and uh, if you want to start playing Zelda with me, feel free to do so and show me your progress on the Discord. But um, once again, I hope you all have a good night. Thank you so much for coming here to the Italian Gamer Joe. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I hope to see you all again soon. Jump, once again, jump into the Discord. I'm always active in the Discord. If you want to talk, hang out, join my channel. You can vent, do whatever you want. I'm always there. Um, and once again, I hope you all have a great night. See you all next time.